name's Steve Simpson. I'm a senior lecturer in biosciences at the University of Exeter. I'm a marine biologist working mostly on the effect of anthropogenic noise, the noise that humans put into the ocean. Imagine that somebody comes and builds a runway next to you, builds a motorway on the other side and starts driving motorbikes around you on the weekend. That's what it's like in the marine environment now. So why should we worry about anthropogenic noise in the marine environment? Well, predators are three times more successful while boats are driving around, so it makes some small prey fish very vulnerable to predation. Parents that look after their young around a nest will often abandon the site or will uh, lose out to predators that come and start eating the, the young larval fish. So we can really map how noise and the effects of noise will impact on the population. When we think about anthropogenic noise, there are four obvious sources. There's pile driving, so that's banging metal tubes into the seabed to put wind turbines on top of. Ships make a lot of noise by their propellers, engine noise. Offshore oil and gas is found using air guns, and we're working on ways of reducing the noise and reducing the impact of that noise. And finally, we're working on outboard engine noise to try and think about how that affects local fish communities, particularly in coral reef environments, uh, where that noise affects reproduction. To make sure that our science really gets uh, fed into policy, we meet regularly with DEFRA, with CFAS, the government scientists, Marine Scotland, um, and also international organisations like the International Maritime Organisation that govern shipping, to try and ensure that the decisions they make, the policy decisions as well as licensing decisions about where to put new wind farms or where to move shipping lanes is really informed by the latest evidence on how noise can affect fish and marine invertebrates. One of the most positive things about working with noise is that the people who make the noise are really open to trying to reduce their impacts. So uh, ship design is changing rapidly to try and reduce the noise that ships make. Um, we can think about moving shipping lanes, we can uh, choose when we pile drive to build wind farms. If there's a spawning season, we can avoid making noise during that period. So unlike many pollutants, we've got direct control over noise and we can choose when and where we make it.